Hello and welcome once again to my C++ course. We're looking at the basic structure of C++. So in our previous lesson, we were able to display an information on the console, but there were some instructions that we even didn't touch them, but we were able to display an information on the console. So I have an example over here that we are going to deal with. So this example is coming out from the previous lesson. So please make sure you watch the previous lesson before you watch this video. Okay. So with this instructions over here, we are trying to display hello world on the console, but we have some default instructions that we need to understand them. The first one is the hash include IO streams and we also have using namespace STD and we also have the int main. We have some parentheses and also carry bracket. And inside the carry bracket, we have some message over there. So we need to understand all of these instructions over here. Why should you add them in your project? So with this video, I have grouped it into three and you are going to have three videos in this session. So the first session, we will be looking at the header file. And the next video, we will also be talking about the namespace. And lastly, we'll be talking about the main function. So this video, we'll be looking at the header file. So now, before we talk about the header file, you guys need to know that with C++, C++ is really very, very huge programming language. So because of that, we have some built-in libraries that developers or programmers have already created them for us so that we can add them inside our project. And for you to add them inside your project, that is why the first line that you guys were seeing, the hash include comes in. So the hash include is the path to the library that you want to include in your project or you want to add in your project. Without the hash include, the compiler is going to complain. So the hash include is going to tell the compiler that you want to add the standard library coming from the C++ so that it will go into the library and add that library into your program so that everything will work for you. So the first line was the hash include IO streams. So this IO streams over here is giving us the privilege or the advantage for us to use the input and output streams. So the I stand for input and the O stand for output. So input for us to receive an information from a user or if we want a user to input some information in our program. And the output means we want to display something on the console so that the user can see. That's what the hash include IO streams. So now we have two ways that we add these libraries. We have the library coming from the C++ standard library and we also have the library that you, the developer, you are also going to create. So let's now look at how you can add these two library starting from the built-in C++ library. So now for you to add a built-in library, you must use the keyword hash include. And from the hash include, then you enclose it with less than and greater than. And inside this less than and greater than, you specify the library name. And this will tell the compiler that it should go and add this library in your project. And we also have the library that you are going to create because sometimes the C++ built-in library is going to limit you to a certain point. So you need to enlarge it very well so that it will fit your need, okay? So for you to do that, we also use the same keyword hash include. And right now, if you bring this hash include, we don't use the less than and greater than anymore, but you're going to use double quotes. So inside the double code, then you specify the library name. So you guys can see that we have the .h over there. This means that this header file is just a file. So every file must have what an extension. So this means that the hash include IO stream, the IO streams is having an extension called .h. So those are the extension for the header file that you guys need to know. So now, if I'm trying to summarize everything to you, then we are saying that the first line does the hash include is just a library that we are trying to bring that library in our project so that we will be using the input and also output streams in our project. So guys, 
make sure you subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching and in our next video we'll be looking at the namespace thank you bye bye